one of the criticisms of skeptics and well, skeptics in particular, um, is that they're cynical. Mm. Um, first of all, do you think that's true? And then secondly, um, why do you think such a misconception exists? Because I haven't met uh, a single cynical person here at this entire conference. Yeah. Well, you said that just like we rehearsed. I appreciate that. Um, there are cynics. I don't know many of them. Uh, the sort of skepticism we push is uh, affirmative and positive. It's okay. We think skepticism is the best way of finding things out, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's exciting. It's sort of a self-correcting mechanism keeps you uh, from being duped by harmful nonsense belief. Uh, there are folks who are so, sort of so ardently skeptical that they what, they deny that knowledge is possible, right? These are the postmodernists or sure. whatever. Uh, they say science is just one mythic narrative am among many others. I think that's sort of a cynical view. Um, and there are, maybe this is just more personality than philosophical position, but there are curmudgeonly sourpuss skeptics and atheists, you sure. know, who just bah humbug everything. But you've been at TAM the past few days. The folks at the amazing meeting, this is like, uh, you know, it's like a family reunion. People oh, sure. aren't, you know, just uh, carping on about nonsense belief. People are excited, and there's a community feeling here. And talking about, uh, you know, people going back to their uh, hometowns and getting to work and advancing critical thinking there. Um, we think that skepticism, a as a sort of base uh, or, or foundational uh, way of looking at the world, is positive and not naysaying. It's sure. not just saying no to someone else's belief. Yeah. Uh, it's not just ba, ba humbugging. Uh, skeptic, skepticism, the word, comes from skeptikos, uh, the, w which in Greek just means to inquire or to find things out. It doesn't mean rejecting or beginning with a conclusion and denying uh, the possibility of a claim. And to, to kind of use an internet analogy, skepticism isn't grumpy cat. Yeah. Skeptic skepticism yeah. is more the uh, Keanu Reeves, like, well, or, or the Velociraptor, right. kind of like, why? Yeah. Rather than yeah, it's it's rather than uh, no. You know, rather than uh, yeah, it's not a big no to other people's beliefs. It is instead saying, interesting. Okay, show me. Yeah. You know, prove it. You think that you can talk to dead people. That would blow my mind if that were true. Sure. So show me the evidence, right? Yeah, or you exactly. think you can, you know, uh, uh, later on tonight we're testing an Algerian mystic during Ramadan, it's Ramadan right sure. now, who uh, can do what's called remote viewing, he claims. Mm -hmm. um, we're open-minded. My gosh, it'd change the world if he could prove it. So we have three objects sequestered in a room, um, he's going to go, go on live via Skype tonight during the presentation with a translator. He's had three days to meditate on this. Uh, we're not, you know, when he's contacted us to be tested, we have about 15, 18 applicants a month, and made his claim that he had the psychic ability. We didn't say, nonsense, there's no such thing. Instead sure. we said, bring it on, let's see, right? And we worked out this protocol. Uh, I think the take-home message about the kind of skepticism we're talking about is that it is um, open-minded, it is inquiring, um, and it's, it's sort of, uh, in the spirit of science, it's the sort of uh, stuff Carl Sagan talks about, about the, you know, the wonder of finding things out. And you know, if this Algerian psychic shows that he has a visibility, um, I think Nobel Prizes will be awarded. This oh, is sure. big news now. I mean, million dollars is 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 is, is, is really uh, in in a, in, a, in the case of proving a claim like that, uh, small potatoes. Exactly, exactly. When when you talk about the implications now, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not so optimistic that the oh, sure. chap has the ability he claims, <laughs> but yeah, I think you get my point. Um, do you think that the skeptic movement is going to continue to grow? And if so, what do you think is the possible um, future of the movement? There are uh, three exciting trends that I, I'm finding. Uh, you know, I've been at this racket for 15 years. I really like the uh, collaboration among national organizations and grassroots groups. So, uh, though you were just talking about, you know, some atheists feeling excluded or 
or f imagining that some skeptics are saying you're not allowed to be an atheist or whatever that sure. was. And I, again, I, I reject that. I don't see that going on. Um, I mean, we're all atheists. But anyway, so I talked about that. Uh, many of us are atheists. Despite your uh, questions and concerns about that, I actually see a lot of collaboration. So we talk about the future. I see a lot of people coming together, getting important work done. Uh, uh, second trend, so collaboration, but also second trend is stuff online. Internet activism. Uh, Susan Gerbic and Tim Farley and other people connected with the JREF. Tim Farley is our senior, uh, is a research fellow uh, when it comes to uh, sort of IT things and internet. And uh, he, did, he does the What's the Harm website. Sure. You see projects like uh, groups of skeptic activists working in an organized way to help clean up Wikipedia. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Or Rebutter, uh, Shane Greenup's project. Yeah. Um, and the, if we're talking about the future of skepticism, the third thing that sort of gets my tail wagging is the talent. The I'd even say new talent. Like there's a lot of great people showing up rolling up their sleeves and saying, I want to get to work. I want to help make the world a better place by helping people think straight, by helping people not be duped, right? And, uh, th you know, so five years from now, th I think they're going, th we, the world has not seen the best rationalist, skeptic, atheist podcasts yet. I think they're coming. The world has not seen um, all that there is to do regarding skepticism internationally, right? New organizations are being formed. There's uh, new projects, new things to support. So um, I'm really excited uh, about the future of skepticism in that way. I definitely share optimism yeah. for sure. Um, and I appreciate you, you coming by and, and sitting down with us and, and sharing your thoughts. Well, Joel, it's been uh, fun to have the Richard Dawkins Foundation at uh, TAM again this year. You, uh, the organization's been so supportive of this event. And uh, it's been a fun conversation. Thanks, Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.